the old radiator had a had a lot of rust and corrosion, leaves, debris, the fins, some of the fins were bent and it's corroded. It was pulling a lot more amps than it is now. So yeah, I think it's pulls about 20 on startup. Comes back into about nine nine amps when it's running, when it gets up to speed. Now that I've got a new fan in there, it's it's uh, not pulling quite as many amps as it was before. It pulled quite a bit on startup. 24. Once it gets going, it comes down to about 9, 9 amps. It doesn't take much, much to burn out these fusible links. Burn the relay switch out. But you have there are four wires coming out of this cooling fan relay. The red wire is a 12 gauge wire that's protected by a 20 gauge fusible link that's just behind this single pin connector right here on the battery side. That's one to always check if you haven't if you're having cooling fan problems. This blue wire Circuit 351 is an 18 gauge wire. That is the fan fuse uh, goes over the fuse panel. Circuit again, circuit 351. The, the 3 amp fuse in the fuse panel is only there to protect the cooling fan relay. It doesn't protect the cooling fan circuit. It doesn't protect the cooling fan motor. Just the relay. And the green and white wire is circuit 335. This is a 20 gauge wire. It splits and goes to green and black for a short time. Then from there it breaks off and it goes to a tan wire. It goes, it's 20 gauge. It goes over to the AC switch. The brand, and then it goes over this. Then it splits off and goes, turns brown and it goes over the cooling temperature switch, which is on the uh, passenger side of the engine block. This is the red and black wire which is circuit 902 this is the one that factory service manual stresses about checking if, if your cooling fan isn't working it's red and black again circuit 902 and it goes straight over to the cooling fan motor but if you can just you can apply 12 volts to that circuit 902 and the cooling fan should come on You can apply 12 volts to that circuit and the cooling fan should come on. The red and black wire, well actually, that's what turns the fan on and off.